today we're going to be testing out Brusho on Upo paper. And Upo is a polypropylene paper, so it's a plastic paper, a synthetic paper. We're going to go ahead and wipe it down with a rubbing alcohol wipe. You can just use plain rubbing alcohol. And this is just to remove any excess finger oils because those will affect how the watercolors sit. And we'll let that dry and we'll go ahead and grab our brush -o. And we're really just experimenting today, just playing around, seeing how it handles. So I'm gonna grab some bright, fun colors. We're gonna grab a red. We're gonna grab, see if I can get an ultramarine blue. And we're gonna grab a yellow. And I think we're gonna start out first by spritzing the paper with some water and this will take a while to dry because Yupo is non-absorbent. So the water has to evaporate from the surface for it to go anywhere. And this might not even work. Like I said, we're just sort of playing around, experimenting today. All right, so that is the brush -o. on you bow starting to activate a little bit so I'm gonna let this dry and I'll come back probably in about an hour all right guys now that that has dried it's not quite as striking an effect there's still a lot of you know little bitty individual pigments on the paper so we're gonna go ahead and spray of course it's going to reactivate pretty much everything that was already put down but that's okay we're playing around i want to see how it looks all right i think you guys know the drill gotta let that dry before we can move on all right, guys, let's spray this with water again and see what we get. We do get a lot of puddling in certain areas, but we are getting some better color mixing as well. Unfortunately, as vibrant as Yupo is, it seems like it's just kind of dull. Uh, I mean, as vibrant as Brusho is, it seems like it's kind of dull on the Yupo. And I think after this dries, we'll call it you know enough enough because it will start to turn to mud and I'm just spritzing it with regular water in a little spray bottle in case you guys are curious so we'll check in with this one last time when it dries all right guys so our brusho experiments have dried you guys can see it does make some interesting almost marbling effects and if I had tilted and twisted the paper as it dried I would have gotten even more interesting effects but it can become muddy because everything's just sitting on the surface of the paper nothing is getting soaked in so everything gets mixed together um, so you have muddier areas over there you've got this up here you've got this down there so you want to maybe limit your color scheme and limit your application application. Anyway, I hope you found that little demonstration of Brusho watercolor crystals on Yupo polypropylene paper interesting and informative. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like. If you've got any questions or suggestions, leave one in the comments. And if you want even more watercolor stuff, head on over to the blog, matosuit.blogspot.com for more. If you would like to help fund future videos like this, head on over to the Patreon at patreon.com slash natosuit for information on how to join the community. If you'd like to do me a solid please make sure you leave a like that lets youtube know i do good stuff and share this video with your friends on your social networks twitter tumblr facebook pinterest all of those are great places to leave this link lots of people will be able to find it and it should be able to help them out it'll help you out because you'll look like a super cool friend who shares awesome resources i'm becca hilburn thank you guys so much for joining me in my studio today i hope to see you guys again soon bye